Hello and welcome to Unite and Prosper, where we will not be divided or conquered. And while you're watching this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and share, share, share. Here is Mayor County Sheriff Javier Salazar, uh, a Texas uh, Democrat sheriff, speaking at the DNC. And just after this, <laughs> see what he had to say a couple of years ago. When Donald Trump comes down to Texas, stands next to officers in uniforms just like mine, he's not there to help us. Don't think that, not for a second. He is a self-serving man. I love it whenever they do a camera shot of the audience here and an applause break when nobody in the camera shot is applauding. <laughs> and a guy in the cowboy hat. Tell me you didn't want to be there by not telling him he didn't want to be there. Yeah, he was drugged there by his wife. I mean, look, just like just like when he killed the border bill. Okay, real quick, that border bill that they keep saying Trump killed. First of all, Trump was not in office at the time. And second of all, that border bill was not a border bill. It was more of an amnesty bill for all the illegals. The only border that bill protected was Ukraine, because we sent billions of dollars to Ukraine. That border bill had nothing to do with our actual border. That's why it was defeated, not because of Donald Trump. He just made our jobs harder. Now Kamala, on the other hand, has been fighting border crime for years. She's gone down to Mexico and worked to stop the traffickers. And when the traffickers didn't stop, she put them in jail. Now, down in my neck of the woods, we call that fooling around and finding out. I may be paraphrasing a bit. Well, that was Sheriff Salazar on day three of the DNC. Let's see what the sheriff had to say a couple of years ago at 2022. So, uh, Sheriff, uh, you've written three, I understand, letters to the White House. Uh, here's your opportunity to speak directly to the president and to the folks at the White House. Cameras are yours. What are you going to tell the president? Mr. President, we need your help. With all due respect, the perception here, what I've seen in talking to other law enforcement leaders in my, in my precious state of Texas, is uh, the perception is that there's, there's been a complete absence from Washington, D.C., now, I, I know that you've got a whole world to protect and serve. However, here down in Texas, we need your help. We need you here uh, to, to talk to us and see if we can be part of the solution. Uh, you know, right now, what we're doing is we're allowing the state government to control that narrative. And, and maybe they're trying their best. I don't know. But at, at this point, the results that we're seeing are just not satisfactory. Clearly, we're dealing with over 50 people dead. That means the approach isn't working. I wonder what happened between 2022 and just recently here in 2024. This sheriff, even though he is a Democrat, just destroyed his sheriff career. I wonder how much the DNC paid him to speak there. Well, maybe since his sheriff career is over, maybe they promised him a Secret Service role. We know they need uh, help in that department for sure.